everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video, we're going to be exploring another example dealing with soil plasticity. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in the given information here, we're being told that a soil has a plastic limit of 19%, and the liquid limit data is summarized here in this table. The in-situ moisture content is 20%. And then we're being asked to calculate the in situ liquidity index and consistency index. OK, so for our liquid limit data, we have number of blows and we have associated moisture contents. Um, now let's go ahead and get started with the solution. So the first thing we're going to do is remind ourselves what are these things called liquidity index and consistency index? Well, in general, they are uh, parameters that are used to um, kind of determine the relative denseness or um, relative denseness or firmness of a clay soil. OK, um, so whenever we want to calculate them, we need we have some handy formulas that we can use to, to determine these. So let's start with uh, the liquidity index, the LI. OK, the liquidity index is calculated as a given moisture content in this case is 20% minus the plastic limit which was also given as 19 percent divided by the plasticity index and then the consistency index is given as liquid limit minus a given moisture content divided by the plasticity index okay so we have the plastic limit and we have the moisture content uh, here, what we don't have is the PI, the plasticity index, but all we need to do to get the plast, uh, plasticity index is to get the liquid limit first, which we have the data to do that. Now, how do we get the liquid limit from data? Well, if you remember, you determine the liquid limit by plotting number of blows on a horizontal axis with the your, their associated moisture content on a vertical axis. You put the number of blows on a log scale and then the uh, moisture content that corresponds with 25 blows will give you your liquid limit and that's 25 blows that causes a 12.7 millimeter gap or about half inch gap uh, inside the groove you cut in the soil pad of the Casa Grande device to close. OK, so uh, if you're a little rusty on um, liquid limit and the, the lab procedure, go back and review that separately. Uh, but for the sake of this example, what we're going to do is we're going to grab these data points and we're going to insert a scatter plot here. And um, again, on the horizontal axis, we have the number of blows. I'm going to resize this a little bit. And the vertical axis, we have those moisture contents. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and label my axes. Uh, just so I can, you know, have a make sure I remember what I'm looking at. So that's the number of blows and this is moisture content as a percentage on the vertical axis. OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my horizontal axis on a log scale. All right, so I'm going to um, go ahead, format axis axis and then go to log scale here. OK, and I'm going to set the minimum to 10 just so I can, you know, spread out my data a little bit. And then I'm going to right click on the horizontal axis and add minor grid lines just to help my eyes see where that 25 blows uh, is going to is going to land. All right. So if I look at this, um, I know here's 10, here's 20, 25 blows is going to be somewhere around here. And if I come up, you know, near the data, um, I'm going to get around 69, maybe a little bit higher than 69% for my moisture content. So I know just by quickly looking at this that my liquid limit is going to be somewhere around 69%, maybe a little bit higher than 69%. Okay. Now, when you are taking a quiz or an exam and you are given this data on your paper or on the screen, uh, this is, you know, this data forms what's called the flow curve. If you're given this, then you're going to have to eyeball all of this stuff, right? You're going to have to go to 25, move up, move over, and then you're going to have to get the liquid limit from there just by looking at it. Now, when you have the data, which is what we have in this example, you can create the, the flow curve plot in Excel, and then you can actually put a trend line through it and take a more mathematical approach to get the liquid limit. So to do that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to uh, hit add trend line and I'm going to use a logarithmic trend line. Be careful. The default in Excel is a linear trend line for this application. You want to do a logarithmic trend line because you have put the horizontal axis on a log scale. 
and then we're going to display the equation on the chart. So this equation we're displaying here is the mathematical equation for the trend line that is best fitting this data. And so this is really giving you liquid limit as a function of blow counts, okay? Or, well, uh, let me take the back. It's moisture content as a, as a function of blow counts, right? Where y, y represents moisture content and X represents the number of blow counts. Now the liquid limit is the moisture content when the number of blow counts is 25, okay? So if I want the liquid limit specifically, I'm gonna say LL, and I can be, you know, mathematically proper and say it's the moisture content when um, X is 25 or when N is 25. So I can use this kind of function notation here uh, to help me. And so I'm going to type here the actual equation of the trend line. OK, so I'm going to say this equals negative. Uh, 8.989 times the natural log of 25 plus 98.392, okay? And there you go, I get my liquid limit is 69.5%, which again, is the moisture content when the number of blows is 25. And visually, I know that that's about right here, okay? So I can visually see that that's about 69.5%, all right? Now that I have the liquid limit, I can go ahead and get the uh, plasticity index. The PI, of course, is just liquid limit minus plastic limit. So it's the liquid limit minus the plastic limit was given to us as 19%. So my PI, if I needed that directly, is going to be 50.5% for this problem. What I'm really interested in, though, is the liquidity index and the consistency index. So I'm ready to calculate the, those now. The liquidity index is going to be equal to the um, moisture content uh, that was given to us um, in the problem statement in situ moisture content 20 percent minus the plastic limit which was given as 19 percent divided by the plasticity index i just calculated so there's my liquidity index and then the consistency index is going to be given as the liquid limit that i just determined that's 69.5 minus the in situ moisture content that was 20% that uh, was given in the problem statement divided by the plasticity index 50.5. Okay. And I can take these out maybe to a couple more sig figs just to, you know, make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, I probably don't need three sig figs. That should be enough. So um, let's go more. So here are my liquidity index and consistency index. Um, another couple things to note here is uh, in the problem statement, you notice if you pay attention carefully, you notice the in situ moisture content is 20% and the plastic limit is 19%. So this soil sample that we're, we're investigating with a 20% moisture content is very near the plastic limit. It's a little higher. So what you can kind of deduce in your head, maybe even before you did any of these calculations, is that um, the consistency of this soil is close to the plastic limit, right? It's it's like, you know, could be crumbly if, if rolled into a thin thread, right? Um, it's maybe a little bit more wet than the plastic limit. It's nowhere near the liquid limit, right? The liquid limit was 69.5. So what's, what's good about this example is it can exercise our ability to, um, you know, use some intuition, right? When we're given data, um, and and you are immediately the first sentence or first two sentences tells you the plastic limits 19% and hey your moisture contents at 20% you should know you're very close to the plastic limit you're you're basically uh, at the plastic limit but just a little bit more wet than that okay so this concludes this example if you found this helpful please hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.